Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be walking you through which order entry method is best for you on the CQG Q Trader platform. So if you aren't familiar, there's actually quite a few different methods of order entry or you know, order entry ticket windows or domes, whatever you want to call them. There's quite a few different ones on the Q Trader platform in which you can sort through or access and have displayed on your platform at all times. So if you want to add in order ticket window or, you know, a method of order entry, you can come up to the top left hand corner of the platform and click on the trade button. Now, from here, these are where our choices pretty much begin. And you can see this first column here, this first section above this separation line is pretty much everything we're going to be focused on in this video. So let's start from the top. And this is an order ticket. Now, your order ticket is going to be your, you know, your basic dome, the one you're probably used to if you've seen it before. We have the price ladder here. You can scroll in and out of the market as needed. You have buy buttons on one side, sell buttons on the other. And you have quite a few different options. So depending on where you've clicked on in the market, you can place your order entries on the left hand side. So for our buys, we only have limits available to us. Since we're above the market, we can place at the market, we can buy one off or we can buy it at the bid price. Pretty much the same thing on the other side, but instead we can actually place a stop order as well. And as you can see, depending on where you're clicking on in the market, your order buttons will fluctuate and you'll also be clicking on these price levels, which will adjust your order buttons as well to the specific price level that you've clicked on. As I said, you can scroll in and out of the market and click on the price level that you want to place the order at. That's one method of doing so. You can also manually adjust right here in this little price box here or click the up or down uh, arrows to increase or decrease the price. Now you do have your order quantity buttons down in the bottom left over here. Your order duration such as good to cancel, good to day, fill in kill, fill or kill. Those are all located right here. You have parked orders. Here you can do some advanced order types such as stop, stop limit, triggered stop, triggered stop limits. Here we have trailing orders. We can do a OCO chain or bracket orders here. And then this will recenter us to the market. Now, the nice thing about the normal order ticket here is the fact that you have for one, the ability to monitor all your orders, positions, working orders, things of that nature down at the bottom. So you can even monitor some of your account statistics if you'd like. Then we also have the ability to cancel orders down here, cancel flats, globally cancel all our orders, things of that nature. So there's a lot of functionality to be had within this order ticket here. This is the most probably default or, you know, dome that you're used to that you'll see most often. The other ones have individual features that, you know, specific traders might need. Speaking of which, let's continue on. This is the split dome trader. The next option we have here. Pretty similar as you can see, but the main difference here is the buy sides and sell sides are uh, separated and they're clearly split. This one is more oriented around actually clicking on the dome for your order entries and placing your orders rather than clicking on your buttons. You do have the option to click on these order entry buttons, these buy or sell buttons here, and you can see there's three options in each. You can buy or sell at the market or well, you can buy or sell at the market prices, as you can see. And then it's also split into buy and sell orders here. And depending on where you click, the price you click at, it will place a price at that specific or place the order at that specific price. You can see here that it's it's called the split trader and the price levels are split in two. So you can see instead of having to scroll down through the entire thing, the lower prices are on the left side here and the higher prices are on the right hand side. Again, it is split up so you can easily left click or right click on the specific order entry box that you'd want to place your stop limit or your limit orders at. And then again, you can simply click at the different price levels and the order buttons will adjust accordingly. 
instead of clicking on the actual price levels to place your stops or your limits, you can do so here as well. You can do your trailing orders and your OCO bracket orders here or recenter the market price here. And again, you have your order flags up at the top. At the very top, you can check your orders and positions here as well. Now, continuing on, let's head over to the Dome Trader. And again, you'll see a common theme. They're all pretty similar. They just have different things about them that some traders may prefer over others. So here again, this one is primarily all focused around order entry through clicking on your price levels. As you can see, there's real no order entry buttons here. You do have your durations, your order types, your trailing order types, your OCO and bracket orders up top. You do have your order quantity at the bottom, but compared to the other ones, there's absolutely no order entry buttons here. You're simply clicking on the price level you want to enter at, and that's pretty much it. Now, compared to the other two we've seen, although you do have the capability of clicking on the different price levels, this one is strictly going to be that only. Heading on now, let's do the hot hybrid order ticket. This is sort of a combination of both. As you can see, it's a bit more sleek and simple. This one is similar to what we've seen before. We have buy or sell buttons. We can adjust by clicking our up and down arrows, our prices here. You can adjust your buy and sell limits. You can click on the different price levels as well and you'll see our buttons adjust accordingly. So depending on where we click on the market, our order buttons will reconfigure. So as you can see, we're clicking below the market. We're going to get a limit order, a buy limit order and a sell stop. If we click above, we'll get a sell limit and a buy stop. You also have the option to do stop limit. As you can see, it's a little subcategory of the buy button. You can do market as well. You can change your order type there. There's a ton to be done here. But again, this is probably one of, if not the most simple options out of all the domes that they have. Order quantity is to be done down here. And again, you have your OCO and bracket orders up here. And then you can recenter the market up here. You'll notice the main difference here is the fact that you don't have those advanced orders such as stops and trailing orders on this one. It's just pretty much straight up order entry. As you saw, you can even decrease this section and you can just have the plain old market um, depth of market right here displayed. Continuing on, here is the snap trader. Now, this is actually pretty much chart trading for those of you familiar with it in other platforms. You have your chart. You can enter in orders directly on your chart if you want to. As you can see, there's quite a few different options and there's um, a couple different options you have within here. There's snap trader 2.0, which we're on currently. There's the regular snap trader, which kind of changes these buttons up here. They pretty much all do the same thing. They're just a bit aesthetically different, as you can see. And you do have some pre trading preferences. You can right click your chart to actually place the order if you want. This will open up a dome for you. You can click on these price buttons up here, adjust as needed, and you can see price levels and things like that. As far as I know, you don't have all the different advanced order types as you would in the other domes, but that's why if you want to and you need those, you can just right click, place an order, and do so that way. There's some things within trading preferences as well that you can configure for yourself when, you know, placing orders. So you can adjust these buttons accordingly. You can change the display side size. Here's some other things about display that you can change. I'm not going to go through every single one. In here, you can set up smart orders for yourself. So things such as trailing orders, OCO, all of that nature. But again, I don't want to get too into this for this video. We're just kind of covering the differences between the domes, not actually implementing trades through them. The spreadsheet trader, as you may see, is pretty much just an Excel spreadsheet in which you can trade through. Here we can set up our order types, our buy size, sell side. You know, it's pretty much a dome, but it's it's in a spreadsheet format and you can left or right click on the different side to place your orders as needed. Continuing on here, we do have the order desk. This is pretty much going to be the last thing we're covering here. Just pretty much your basic order entry ticket. You can use this in combination with the snap trader if you want to for easy orders. Excuse me, dragging around. I'm just trying to find a good place for this. Here you can choose your account that you'd like to trade with. 
your order quantity, the contract, the quantity buttons are down here as well. Here are your order types. Here's the durations. Here's your advanced order types, OCO and bracket. Here's park to orders. And then you do have some order entry buttons down at the bottom too. So this is pretty much your straight order entry ticket. Nothing fancy about this at all. The other two things we have in this section are a split quote board. Pretty much just going to allow us to have a bunch of order tickets up at once. So here we have gold. We can add maybe E-mini if we want to. As you can see, you can duplicate this. You can change the contracts up at the top. So there we have the E-mini now. You can just right click on this section. And for us, we wanted to duplicate it first, or we'll, we can just duplicate the tab if we want to. As you can see, you can work with multiple tabs. You can insert new, um, insert new quotes here to get a duplicate button here. That way, if you are trading multiple contracts, you can rapid fire place them off all at once. Now, finally, we do have the algo order monitor. This is not enabled for demo or for the basic version of QTrader. If you need these, you may need to reach out to your broker or CQG support in order to enable these. But that's pretty much going to cover it for this video. Just quickly wanted to give you a rundown on the different order types. I know or order entry types, there is quite a few on this platform. So we figured we'd go through them and just simplify the process a bit for you. At the end of the day, they pretty much all do the same thing. They just each contain some features that again, we've you know, went over this, but some traders may have preferences that others don't. Everybody has their own order entry preferences. So that's what we just wanted to cover in this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more QTrader content, more podcasts, trading tips, advice, strategies, and much more. And as always, thanks for watching.